Two to three uh, short that are short. Instead of one long one, I don't want to complicate. I want you to know to walk out knowing. So we're gonna do three short ones, and I'm gonna to try to make it like thirty minutes each. Okay. Instead of one long conversation back and forth, I think it'd be interesting to see if you guys like it that that uh, that way. You're you're doing the difference between learning da, uh, learning Iyun versus uh, versus Daf Yomi. Where? Oh my God! Where'd you get this from? <laughs> what is that? Very harsh, Adak. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Adak Yuda, who's that? Wow, that's us. Uh, he made it. We're so doing three, last week. Yeah. three classes tonight. See? Two or three, but don't mark line. them as you one, two, three. That. Just mark them. So yeah. if there's three classes of Vay, of uh, Vayhi, there's three classes of Vayhi. Two classes. That's Chazak. Yeah. No, don't don't make any uh, no no numbers. You know, by the way, that there's no beracha in numbers when things are counted. You know, this is in oh. French? You know that? No. There's no numbers, there's no berachot when things are counted. This is O. Oh. That's why I never check my bank. Oh. Small oh. man. Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right, so the first one we're going to go, we're going to go Dalit. Go, everyone go to Dalit, which is number four. Could everyone make a, everyone make a plate? What? what? Four. Dalit. Ooh, good one. Yeah. This one I said at the, what's it called? To the soldiers last oh, yeah. night, yeah. Oh, Gavaldi, how'd yeah. it go? Did anyone well, record Everybody it? stayed. Everybody stayed. Nobody left. Any video? Any recording? No, I'm sorry. I forgot. Mm. I, was come. Rest- I know. You had Dalit? I told you we were doing Dalit. it. I didn't want to. Just Dalit? Dalit. 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 Next time. Dalit. Good to yeah. see how it was first time. Just, uh, There'll be other opportunities, no? Yeah, no, I told them whenever there's a base that wants whatever, I'll go. Amazing. Okay. All right, so let's go to Dalit. Wait. Yeah, oh, my cup. boy. He did it in Shema, oh, without any cameras. Uh, Daddy. Yeah. Daddy. Yeah. Uh, Vayhi. Go to Parashat Vayhi. Wait, is that the right one? Go to Parashat Vayhi. Yeah, it's the right one. Yeah. You're not, you're not expecting. <coughs> you're not expecting. He's over here. Jomez. After me, Kate. Jomez. After the Gash. I love you. I'm about to start yeah, class. Can yeah. I call you back? Yeah. What's up? Tell me quick. Driver? <coughs> Sorry for Hebra okay. coming. Okay. Okay, what time for yes. what time? Uh, oh, yes. Where? Where? Over here? Alright, I got yes. you. Don't worry, done. Consider it done. No. Consider it done. Okay. Love you. Uh, yeah. Consider it done. Consider it done. I don't care. Let the hotel scream if they I don't care. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> I love you. Don't be sorry. I don't care. It's fine. Yeah. What if I next week? You got it. Really? I could first. So that's it. Oh, nice. Alright, hold on, guys. Before we get started. Oh, Amen. Come on, set ever set him up. Yosef, make a play. Come sit. Okay, make a plug. Pop it. I put some extra spicy stuff on. Who is this? Like, is this All right, one, 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 We're doing a class in Spanish. La, <laughs> mira, la, la, la amigo de mío tiene, necesita un comión domingo. Like prime time work. Y yo hace de, yo, pag, yo pagar la, I know, yo sabe, es muy peligroso. But you don't have an option. But I mean, you pay the chauffeur. So Mordechai, Zevi, tell me about what was the last few days like. But you went to all the places, no? Mordechai? Went to a helicopter. Next week you're going to teach us? You went to a helicopter? You did? Alvin? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he did. No, no, you don't see the one. No, you don't, no, Eduardo, no, you don't see the one person that wants to move. Look, tell me, you pay the 200. You pay the 200. Y yo pagaré. 200 yo pagaré. Es, es, es un favor, mi amigo. Él tiene problemas. Es, yo quiero ayudar. We have to do classes in Spanish. Come yeah. on, he's, he's a dependable driver from Spanish. Creo, sí, yeah. Sí, sí. Sí. Show the camera. Por favor. Pero Eduardo necesita ayudar a mover todo. Él no puede dormir. Necesita ayudar y mover. That was close. It's funny, right? Hey, what's up? Claro. Más helicóptero. Claro. All right. Gracias. Okay. Okay, bye. Gracias. Okay, which tour are we doing? All right, Dalit. Everyone go to Dalit. Dalit. In Pasha's Bay Key. What's going on there?
Uh, why? It's because uh, the other guy's coming. But why can't we sit all together? Why do you have to sit apart from me? No. All right. So move the table over. Move the table straight. Yeah. Move the table straight. Sash. He knows what to do. How did you get that? Naughty boy. All right, go to Dalit on Vayhi. This week is Hazak, Hazak Venit Hazak. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So it's a great, it's a great derasha. It's a great derasha. You don't even know what I juggle. You don't know. Spaniel. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah. All right, so listen. Sorry. A lot of noise for one person. All right. So look, we're gonna go to Dalit. We're gonna go to Dalit first. Right? The Pasuk says, Sim Naya Dechata Adirechi. Mr. Bloomberg, how you doing? Fine. Okay. Sim Naya Dechata Adirechi, right? What does ya- Yaakov tell Yosef? He makes him swear. Okay? He makes him swear. Tell him, I don't want to be buried in Mitzrayim. But he doesn't just tell him once, he really tells him twice. He makes Yosef swear two separate times. Okay? Let's see how. The first is Sim Naya Dechata Adirechi. What, show me the places. Oh, David. Yeah, let's show me where it is. Now she says, "What? Well, what does that she say when he, when Yaakov tells Yosef to put his hand under his uh, under his thigh?" He, Rashi says, "Vehi shavali and swear to me." Mm-hmm. Okay, Kashe, very hard to understand. Lama Yosef lo nishbalo miyad. Why didn't Yosef swear to Yaakov right away? Why did Yaakov have to tell Yosef swear to me? The first, okay. If you look at the pesukim, if you look at the pesukim. It says that he... Well, why should Yosef have to swear automatically if Yaakov's asking him? So why did he say yes? So, yeah. It says, look what it says, hold on. Yes. Well, and don't bury me in Mitzrayim. Okay, and what is and what does that she say? It says... Way to go. Levehi Shavar. I put my put my hand under put your hand under and swear. It's basically what uh, Abraham did. Well, no, so right, yes, yes, which is normal. But you wouldn't but, but if you look at the Pasuk later, it says over here, by Yomir Vehi Shavali, Vehi Shavalo, then he swear to him. Why didn't y- Yosef swear to him the first time he put his hand under his under his uh, thigh? Again. Okay, Sasha, can you open the door a little just crack it? I want you to crack it. Sure. Look, the pasuk says, "Sim na yedechat ha'derechi." Right? Yaakov tells Yosef, "Put your hand under my under my thing and swear." Uh huh. Dove, how are you doing? We changed the forum. We're doing shorter dera short. By the way, I like it. Right? I like and it. and this way we can get three different concepts that leave it open instead of one instead of one big one. So to make, but it's gonna be more serious. Approved. Okay. okay? Approved. You approve this message, Mr. Bloomberg? You good? Good. So okay, Yo- Yaakov tells Yosef, "Put your hand under my under yedechi." Right? And and what is and what does that she say? It's swear to me. The first question is why does Yosef not swear to him the first time that needs the pasuk to say it again after the pasuk of Sim Na Yadechatat Yerechi is pasuk Kaftet. The pasuk of Aishavali is pasuk Lamed Aleph. Two pasukim later. Why did Yosef just swear to him the first time? Rashi tells him that she says, "Put your hand under my thigh." Why? It's a form of swearing. Swear to me that you get me out of Mitzrayim. That's that's kapte. Why does the pasuk later it says Vayomer? He shaveali. Swear to me. Vayishavalo. Then Yosef swears. Why? Why did he do it the first time? Why did he do it the second time? You good? Yeah. Good. And if you want to say that he did swear right away, then the question is why did Yaakov have to repeat it? So it's either it's a, either a question on ya, ya, Yosef or on Yaakov. Yaakov should have said yes the first time. If he didn't say yes the first time, which you see from the pasuk in black and white, that he yes again, why didn't he say yes the first time? What was he waiting on? And if he did say yes the first time, then why did Yaakov have to repeat the question and, and, and ask him to swear twice? Why did he say it again? Just remind me the assumption. Why are we assuming that Yaakov asked him to do it on the first time? That's she. That's she says, says, says Vishavali. It says, that's automatically a shavah. Vehi shavah, and swear to me. Ah, okay. So, so she says, swear. Yes, swear to me. Okay. So swear to me, what's the problem? Why didn't Yosef swear to him the first time? Okay. 
Okay. That all of a sudden you have to bring another one. Right. So that's the that's the, okay. And also, why does he use the word? Hold on. Okay, so that's the question. The question is why two shivua? Why two swears? Why is Yaakov asking for two swears? Oh, oats. Huh? Oats. oats. Sure. And another question we have on Yaakov is why does it say seem na? Please, Lashon Bakasha. You say that to someone who's you just met. You don't say that to your son. You tell him, put your hand under. You don't say, please put your hand under. Real formality. Very formal. Very formal. Right? And then, but then after, if you look at the second basuk, it says, He tells him, swear to me. Commandment. But the whole thing with Yaakov and Yosef is that Yaakov sat up when he greeted Yosef. Uh-huh. There, was, there was a certain oh. amount of... Uh, he realized that Yosef has it. Fine, so then why did he command him the second time? He says, he <laughs> As much power as Yosef had, he was still under the command of Paro. Okay, so if he didn't... That's not the question. The question did, did, the question is why did he... Ma- if you want to say that, then why did he swear him the second time in a, in a forceful way? Because he realized that it, he's going to do whatever he can to get him out. But the second time with the, with the, you know, under the thigh, the whole thing, that is a much more... That's a next level of oath. The, sw- the hand under the thigh is, is what a, is our family thigh. thing. That's what, our, uh, that's what Abraham did. That's our way. Our way is we put a hand under the thigh. Yeah, it was always my understanding that that was... Or maybe the way at the times. The way. Either way, it was yeah. the way. I thought it was the way because the they were doing a breach even though they were in command. Right, and so it really, the really, by the way, what is it? Put my hand under your thigh, it's hold up your brit milah. Yeah. And yeah. swear on the brit. That's yeah. what they did. Yeah, okay, so that's, that's a much higher that's, level. Right, and that is the nice one. That's the nice one. When he says that seem na na is la shon bakasha, please. Okay. Not to see if you wanted to talk about the heavy one, then put the heavy word with the heavy th- the oath. It's his son. I hear you. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Right. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, your father's your father. I got you. Remember, I told you last week what my father said when he borrowed my my Tehillim book, and he asked me, he goes, who wrote those? Who wrote the the notes in the book? You're wrong. I go, me. He goes, they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So as im im amad lo bishot sivui shavali, right? Just like the way a father Yaakov, the way a father ya- swear, commands his son, that's fine. But why does it say li? Li is extra. If you want to be tough, then be tough. If you want to be nice, then be nice. So you want to use the heavier swear, which is you know holding up the thing, and at the same time bebakasha, you're giving lashon na, a nice way. But on the on the sivui way, you know the much tougher way. He's telling him, he's, he's, uh, he's telling him, uh, he's saying, Vishavali, swear to me. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you say, Vishavalo, swear, do it? Mm-hmm. More, more of a commandment. Why does he use the word, Lee, me? I'm going to shut up. You don't have to, sh- you don't have to, guys. He's, I'm he, he, he understands Yosef's predicament. That's why he said, please. Okay. That it doesn't answer, why wouldn't he use, uh, fine. But why wouldn't he use, why does he say, Vishavali, swear to me? Just say, swear. Yishava is a strong lashon. Use the strong lashon. Don't say I'm going to hurt you if you, know, if, you if you if you act like you're sir. Right, I'm sir. Gonna you. Right, I'm going to hurt you, sir. Right. It's not so you pick your poison. Do everything that you could possibly do in your. But that doesn't it doesn't answer the question. The question is why are you using a strong lashon of a sivui, but then at the same time you're ask, you're saying li to me. Like just, just pr- not the the the, the, the na the na is a bagasha. That's the yeah, first one. The a, second one is an extra letter or an extra word. Li to me, may, swear to me. Why did you say swear? That's the thing. Okay. Here's the thing. And after this, we're taking the art scroll away from Yaakov because I'm tired of trying to cover. Okay, that you're not right when sometimes you are right. <laughs> In the beginning, Lo haya yachol Yaakov le savot de Yosef be sivui gamor shelo yigberer be mitzrayim. Yaakov cannot uh, uh, demand from Yosef to con- to to confirm, not confirm, to to uh, not confirm, to not to commit, to to promise, to, to, promise, to guarantee. Yeah. Okay, that that you can take him out of mitzrayim. Why? Because it's not up to him, like Yaakov said. Why? Because maybe Paro like was said. exactly okay. We don't all have to say it. We all know. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Why? But why? Why would you? Why would Paro say no? 
Why would Paro not, not want Yaakov not to be buried in Mitzrayim? Why not? Because he realizes he's a bracha. Rashi says huh? why? Because he's wanting to turn into a uh, Zara. No, that's why Yaakov didn't want to be buried. Yeah, no but why would, you, why would Paro want Yaakov to be buried in Mitzrayim? Because Yaro probably understood that with the... Yaakov or Paro? We're talking Paro, Paro's mind. Paro. Yeah. Paro probably understood the fact that if Yaakov was buried in Egypt, Egypt would continue to prosper. Perfect. Perfect. That was the golden egg. Wait, Two wait, years. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> ya- Yaakov, ya- when, ya- when did Yaakov come down to Mitzrayim? Year two of right. the famine. The famine stopped. Get, right? Because Yaakov gives the beracha to the Paro that whenever, the, whenever he goes to the Nilus, the Nilus will rise for Paro. And by doing that, you you know, mashke all the, the, the Sadot and no more famine. That was made in Biri or the oh, south. Biri. This is Arak. Right. Yeah. yeah. Machia, machia. Whatever, it's lemony. <laughs> <laughs> so why so that, that's exactly why Paro would not want it because no, we want to see me. He's the one that stopped the thing. He's the one that gives us all the all the what's it called? All the shafa. We want we want him here. He ain't going nowhere. Then did it and it's not proper for a father, Yaakov, to make his son uh, promise on something that is talui bedat aherim. That is talui to other people. It's not fair, it's not the right way for the father to ask something from the son if it's not up to the son to be able to get it done. Right? It's just, it's just normal. Mm-hmm. Right? Remember, we said the first one, to put your hand under my thigh. Why? Please. What does this mean, please? What was the swear that he asked him to do? That he would try to do everything he possibly can to get Paro to let him go. That was the that, that was the thing. He made him swear the first time. But what was the thing that he swear the first time? Anything to let me go. Do anything you can to get me out of Mitzrayim and not to be buried here. But I can't make you confirm that you'll get me out of here because you, I, it's not up to you. Good? And what does Yosef answer? But Yosef is Shiv. He answers, Anochi ese kidvarecha. He answers, I will do everything that you say. I will do what you say. Kidvarecha, right? Bidibur shelcha. That he should, huh? Isn't it we talk about we say that we say hey, that you don't this, need to talk. Sam, sorry. Before we say uh, <coughs> we say kibbutz. What's it called? Salat kibbutz. Salat kibbutz. So right, okay, fair. So this is ani anochi eisek kibbutz. I'm gonna do, huh? Good amount of people came. Yeah. Okay, thank God. Yeah. Respect. Even with the big event tonight. Yeah. By the way, so what is your, wait, wait, by the way, we're changing the forum. We're going to take instead of one long derasha, we're taking three small, two or three small derashot, okay. thirty minutes each. Ooh, okay. okay, and we're going to we're going to plow through. Okay, it was Bloomberg's yeah. idea. <laughs> like you barely talk. Why not? <laughs> okay, so again, what is Yosef answer? Yosef answers him, "I will do what you say." Ani He the pasuk should have just said, "Okay, ani I'll do." What is this word? Kidvarecha. We, by the way, what's the question, Yoni? The question, I'll, I'll break it down for you. you the, the Yaakov asked Yosef two separate times to make sure I'm not buried in Mitzrayim. How do we know? The first time, mm-hmm. it's in Rashi. Where he says, Sim na yadecha tad yerechi. Put your hand, please put your hand under my thigh. Mm-hmm. Rashi says, and swear to me that you'll get me out of Mitzrayim. Mm-hmm. Two Pesukim later, Yaakov says, Meforash black and white, also right. get me out of Mitzrayim. Right. Swear to me. Right. Okay, what's with the two things? Why did Yosef say yes right away? Right. And if he did say yes right away, why did Yaakov repeat the thing, right. swear to me again? Right. And he answers, because in the beginning, Yaakov, uh, Yaakov knows that it's not 100% up to Yosef to decide if he's going to leave Mitzrayim or not. It's not up to him. Because Paroz is above Yosef, right? Only my Kisei will be on top of you, and therefore he, he's the one that gets to decide. Right. If he gets to the side, where's he gone? You didn't bring your gun today. No. <laughs> You're it's off, all huh? I right, leave it open, leave it open a little bit. Yeah, just to get the... So again, so Yaakov, so Yaakov knows that Yosef cannot promise. So what does he say? What is the promise that he really gives him? He, or he makes him make? Promise me that you do everything you can to make sure I'm not buried in Egypt. Right. That's the promise. And the second part, I don't know, uh, that's the first one. I'm sorry. I, I apologize. You can. Not, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. But do everything you can. Right. Because what do you do? You can only ask the king once. Right. It's right. not like your wife that can come to you every four seconds. It's the same thing in a different way. And expect, an, expect a different answer. Right. Or kids. Or children. Or sons. 
Simon. <laughs> right? But... Right. But, so what's the answer? So what is it? Yosef answers him, I'll do everything I can. What does it mean? He's hinting to him, This is what Yosef wants to hint to Yaakov. Remember Yaakov spoke to him in a nice way. Please put your hand under my thigh. Because at the end of the day, it's all contingent on what Paro answers and what his mood is. If he says no, the answer is no, and you can't send him again. Right. You can't go to the king more than once. Esther, right? Esther Maka, when she went, she could only go once. Right. You can't go, but he didn't call me in a month. What am I supposed to do? If, she, if he doesn't call me, I can't do nothing. But if Paro doesn't want to give permission, En kama konli shaval asot ko ma'amatze koho. There's nothing I can't do. There's no place for me to swear to do anything more because I can only, according to the law, the, the, you know, der cheretz, I can only go to the king once. So the na is I'm going to take, I'm going to follow your lead. I'm going to talk nicely and I'm going to ask the nicest way I can. And zayigazunt, it is what it is. Either he's going to say yes or he's going to say no. Okay. You like that one, huh? The Rebbe told me that. The Rebbe told me that. Zayigazunt. Well, the Rebbe told me, so I'll take it. There's no S-Y, you know. Zayigazunt. No, there's nothing in there. No. Therefore, what is... Amad lo Yaakov. This is what Yaakov says. Swear to me. What does it mean, swear to me, the second thing? Look what it says. She'az lo yuchal paro lema'en. If you tell... He's saying swear to me, because if you swear to me... Because that's what he says later on. Okay. Tell the world yeah. that you're swearing to me. Uh-huh, yeah. I know you can't swear to me because there's nothing, I can't do nothing about it. I, there's nothing I can do. But you tell the world, swear to me. You tell the world that you swore to your father that you're going to take him out of me time. Mm. And now you put it, now it's like the ultimatum. It is or it's not. Mm. The most of the most. Mm-hmm. Put yourself in the position. Put yourself in the scenario. Look what it says. It says, by the way, She'az lo yuchal paro lema'in. Then paro will not have, be able to, to waste time or to try to stop you. Why? Like it says in the Gemara Sota. It says, Ale ugvor et avicha ka'asher hishbi'echa. Like you swore to him. Which means what? Paro did not want to send Yaakov up and let him get buried in Marat HaMachpela like he, he deserved. Cornered. He was cornered. Go do it because you swore. Bezot, and this is the Shevua and the Tikkun and the Eitsa that he gives to Yosef. This is the second Yivish Shavu'a. Li is not a specific Yivish No, tell them that you swore to me. And then what is the answer? He says, I'll do what you say. Whatever, because I know that Aniyah Varech is going to the first one. I know I can't, get, I can't force you to, 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 to guarantee that you'll bury me there because you know I don't know if it's going to happen. You, if Paro says no, because he wants to be buried in Mitzrayim, you're not going to have, you, you're have not, you're not going to have a leg to stand on, and that's the end of it. So listen to my word, and tell him, swear. So because he tells Yosef, Yaakov tells Yosef, swear. No, you know, he tells him, you only have one shot, so Yosef says, Ani I'm going to do what you say. And then he says, Veishavali, tell them that you're swearing to me. And if you're swearing to me, then Yaakov, then Yaakov, then Yaakov, Yaakov, Paro has no choice. And that's the best shot you got. That's the best shot you got. Okay. Okay? The best shot you got. Yes. Okay. I feel like from a linguistic point of view, why didn't Yaakov just tell him in that second time, tell them that you swore to me? What do you mean? Meaning, we're assuming that he had to do a second shvua so he'd be able to tell Paro that he swore to... Yaakov. That, according to, right. to that, that would be the first Shavua. But the first one, but Rashi said that he already did the Shavua. To, to Yaakov. To but Yaakov. He, right, the second one, Zedash is saying the second one's not a real Shavua. Ah, okay. That's the strategy. That's right. the strategy. Then, then it should have been that the Pshat says that he did the Shavua in the first. Because it was the real Shavua. Maybe I'm jumping the gun, I don't know. That's, that's why it's called a Hidush. Right. But anyway, I'm just saying, like, it looks... No, like, because you can't swear. Mm. Yeah, Yosef can't really swear so because he can't it. do it because you don't have a choice. I, when did he swear? I swear I'll do everything I can. But we got to keep it on DL. Mm. Nobody could know. So that's what you got to say. We're going to make a ploy. We're going to say that you swore to me. Mm. Say that your father made you swear. And okay, Yaakov Avinu is the one that stopped the family. What do you mean? He brought the... By the way... Rep Shimon has a question. Yes, honey. Um, what if... Like, why didn't he promise instead? 
Mm-hmm. A promise and a swear in, in, in the real world is the same thing. When you make a neded, you make a neded. But actually, no, it's not true. You have a neded and you have a shivua. Yeah. Two separate things. Yeah. It's a good question, buddy. <laughs> it's a good question. We'll accept the shivuas and the dorem and we'll... All right, we'll talk about it then. <laughs> okay, and God willing, one day you'll tell me the answer. You know what? The two easiest. When you make a promise to somebody, you're making a commitment. When you're swearing to somebody, then the commitment is from both ends. If you make a swear... That's from both ends, the commitment. Meaning, what does that mean, from both ends? means from the person that's, uh, that you're asking and the person that's giving. That's the same person. <coughs> mm. It's also no. an oath in the ball. It's an oath, yeah. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. between the two, you, mm-hmm. a swear is it's a, t- it's it's a greater yeah. commitment mm-hmm. than a promise. A greater commitment than a promise. Yeah, for sure. Almost, for sure. Yeah. Almost for sure. like a bit. Because yes, yes, yeah, no, by the way, no, that's a big, really big deal. Oh, the the, 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 the Shulchan Aruch says, don't make nedarim. Be careful not to make nedarim. Very important. It's true. Good job. So, okay, let's go. So I want to finish this one. So this is the Shevua, this is the swear that Yosef is, that Yaakov is going to tell, that Yosef is telling Paro that he made him do. I was sworn that I have to do this. Right? And, and this is, and then what is the Gimara? The Gimara Sutta says, what? So listen, so it's, the Gimara says that go, go up, bury your father as you swore. Because you swore. So because you swore, again, that's the main thing. That's exactly what Yaakov tells the people. That tells Yosef to tell Pharaoh and to tell the world. That's your best shot to get, to get me out of here. Good. By the way, it's still possible, like Yaakov said, that it might not work. <laughs> There's still a possibility that Pharaoh will say, too bad, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Not happy, right. Maybe it's still going to be tough. And say no. Maybe he's not going to want to let him go up. Even though you swore, okay, too bad. Make hatarat nedarim. You could do that too, you know. You could say, I don't care about your swears. No. You, uh, nullif- nullify your oath. Oh, you do it. Get a bed dean. Get three guys. No, I did it. I did it. No, I'm saying Paro could say, I don't care about your swears. You didn't ask. You're not going to ask when I nullified an oath. I myself oh, know about no. Everybody here is nullified. You've not with a bad dean, three people? I don't think so. No, different. No, something specific. I did it. I called the bad dean. I got the. I did it. Nice. Why? Because the the the, the, the Syrians have a custom not to have tahine on on Pesach. Pesach tahine. I eat tahine every day. Tahine. Okay. We eat kidneyos. We don't have a problem with that. What's the problem? What's the problem with tahine? Because it's like hummus. Okay. And hummus could stop Yaakov. Be nice. Don't make fun of my traditions. All right. And hummus sounds like hametz. So when my mother told me that's the reason, why are you crazy? <laughs> I'm not that's doing why that. People don't eat vinegar. Use vinegar on Pesach. Okay, so I called my rabbi and I asked, I want to do hatarani darim. So he goes, you sure? I go, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I have to eat every night. Every day I eat it. Okay, and uh, so we did hatara. Wow. I did hatara. I called three guys, made hatarani darim, and then what I'm telling you for, I told the whole story. Some of them rolled their eyes like Yaakov did. And I said, I don't care, I'm doing it anyway. I can't roll my eyes. You I did. Know how to do yeah. That. I did the exact opposite. You did the exact opposite. Yeah, I did her, the same thing as you. I did Hatar the Dharm, but that, so that we stop not eating kidneys because that's crazy. So stop now, not eating kidneys. Meaning, so Wait, stop, like, like the, the, in my opinion, I'm not a rabbi, but in the crazy the, the, the to not eat kidney on Pesach when it's so... Okay, clear. is either Hatar I did the right way? Yeah. Very good. So look, so even so, Yaku, so Paro could still tell that to Yosef. And what does Yosef do? What does he say? So now, what does he say? Look, leka, guys, come on, one more minute. Leka li tevad li. Swear to me, which means what? Ishava li al dati. Only on my thinking. The 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 swear that you're going to give is only going to be on contingent that Paro says okay. Paro says okay, then the swear could take effect. And you're obligated to pull me out of here. But only if he says yes. And look what it says. So tonight. So tonight. So it's a tonight. He's not he's not tonight right? Very tonight. good. Right? The coin gadol. So coin gadol. Real, it's not a real shavua then. It's a shavua tonight. Tonight. But right. a shavua, okay, shavua tonight. But look, look. But for to the eye of the world, 
It's a shevua gamur. Everybody knows it. You have it. Everyone's gonna know it's a real thing. And when Paro tells him do hatarai nedalim, he does tell him that. He says zil go ishtil a shevuata. Go and nullify a shevua. What could Yosef say? From a dying father. Yeah. Ya, ya, pa, Yaakov, ya, sorry, Yosef could say that, fine, if you want me to nullify this swear, there's another swear that I could also nullify. So perhaps the blessing that he gave tomorrow. Nope. Oh, the no, 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 no. When Yaakov, Yaakov go, goes, uh, he, gets out of the, he gets out of jail, he goes, he gives the pitaron to the two, yes, yes, Yosef, yes. sorry, what did I say, Yaakov? Yes. I was getting confused. <laughs> Yosef, they Yosef gets, the a, they look the same, and they both have beat Milah too. They both, uh, yeah, and their brothers both hated them. I can go on. <laughs> Yosef, Yosef gets out of jail, goes up to Paro, interprets the dreams. Now Yos- Paro wants to know, get to know Yosef more. They go inside and they have a little coffee together. And they start talking. And now what does Paro do? Start talking to him in different languages. He wants to see how much he knows. Remember the 70 languages. Paro knows all of them. But when Yosef responded after a while in Lashon Kodesh, Paro didn't know. And Paro's like, I'm sorry, what? What was that? Right. And he explains. And then the Midrash explains that he teaches Paro Lashona Kodesh, but yeah, Paro would not be able to remember it. That's what, that's what the he couldn't, right, right. And he couldn't remember it. And because he couldn't remember it, he made him swear not to tell anybody. Because it's embarrassing. I'm Paro, I don't go to the bathroom, remember? He's a, he's a god. So you cannot know something I don't know. So he made him swear. So if you want me to tell, you know, nullify the promise, the, the oath that I gave to my dying father, no problem. But now we're putting the cards on the table. I, and by the way, I'm not a nobody. You can't just kill me because the whole country loves me. So I, you got, you're going to have to deal with me on the other side. So Paro said, that's why he says, that because you swore to him and have it again, just go, go. You swore to him. I don't want to play games with you swearing. I keep my secret. I'll keep yours. Have a nice day. And go, go take your father up. Okay, good. Now, now, right? It's a good format. You, you canceled it? Yeah. And then you have to start it again. Yeah, I got it. It's all ready to go. All right, go to, go to, hold on. Okay, go to, <clears throat> hold on, hold on. I should have wrote it down before. It would have been smart. But we're not, oh, oh, hold on. I remember it's over here. Go to Ted Vav. Ted Vav. OMG, this is crazy. What did you say this was from Barry? I don't know. Uh, Avi Miller Mahabruta gave it to me. He, he says, I don't drink uh, uh, Adak, and he knows I do. It's not Adak. No, it's delicious. It's like having a freezer. It's like freezer. Like, 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 uh, uh, like like cooler. Yeah. It needs to be cold. It's delicious, though. I promise I'm going to love it because the Adak's a little hot. All right, go to Ted Bob. Shemot? Okay, take a second. Bye, guys. Can you refill? You know? Shemot? Ma'in Vaihi. Vaihi. We ran out of food, by the way. We ran out of food. Yeah, yeah I didn't think we were going to get a real turnout because the whole uh, thing. What happened? I don't know. I'm juggling. Shuba. I had a little. I, had a little, uh, I also had a, a little uh, 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 employee issue, not employee, uh, uh, staffing issue. <laughs> <laughs> well, here or there? Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, go to Ted Vav. Go to Ted Vav, which is page on Kof, Top, Kof, Hey. Good seeing you. Come back again. Right, leave it up, it's good. Let's leave it. Thanks. All right, look at the. Thank have a you, game. Yosef. Okay, hold on. We're running? We're rolling yet or no? Not yet. When ya- Yosef takes. Now we're going up. We're going up, right? Okay, we, we passed the drama with Paro. We're going up into. It's Kenan to bury Yaakov Marat Machpelah. What happens? He's There's 36 kings. That are approaching to wage war against Yosef and Mitzrayim. Okay, they knew Yaakov died. They knew Yaakov died, and they said, just like we thought, Paro would want to keep him inside because he's the good luck charm. Now that they know the good luck charm is dead, they want to try to take on the world power. Because don't forget, Egypt has all our money. <laughs> we had to. They're the one, the only ones that had food, and we had to. Everything was given to them. So now we want to rebel. We want to get our money back, and we want to take over thirty-six kings. Okay. This is what's up. Kulam la milhama bau. These 36 kings came and they all came for war. Kevan shera'u kitro shayu. Not Mitzrayim. Mitzrayim is going up to Canaan and it's Israel. As they're coming up, you have 36 kings from the surrounding areas coming against Paro to try to start to <laughs> try, try to wage war against, against, against Yosef and Mitzrayim. 
So once, once they saw the crown of Yosef hanging on the, on the Aron of Yaakov, on the body of Yaakov Avinu, they all became, they, they, they got flustered. Each one of these kings removes their crown and puts it on the Aron of Yaakov Avinu. Okay? From a movie. We're going to use the music, you know, the background music. Oh, you want music now? No, I don't like that. I, that is not my thing. I don't like were, that stuff. Were they not more afraid of the fact that Paro ah, was I don't know. to ensure that Yosef would return Sometimes it's just to fun. Egypt had throngs and throngs and throngs of military that escorted Yaakov to... They're going to bury. They're not going to... to no, to, no, he was escorted 100% from the Midrashim. That, that so fine, sent, but that 36 versus 1, I mean, it's a big deal. No, but Paro sent his best of the best, plus, plus, Fine, plus, plus. so so did the 36 kings, what do you mean? Yeah, but they were starving already. <laughs> no, they, had, they were poor, but I think they ate. No, by the way, hello, excuse me. Hotel. Totally not. Because it's over. It's over, for 17 years it's over. So they gained weight. <laughs> they ate everywhere, yeah. The famine stopped completely. 17 years. Okay. So then let's see. Again, what does the Gimana Sutta say? It says they... 17 years. Five years, we're still going. No, no, no. Five years. No, seven years of good. Two years of famine. Yaakov comes. Yeah. Famine ends. Okay. Yaakov is there for another 17 years. Right. So, whatever was skinny gained a little weight by then. COVID, we all gained... I don't know about you guys, but I couldn't, I couldn't get rid of my COVID weight. Still can't get rid of it. <laughs> so now, what's the question? The question is... Everybody with me? Yeah. Good. So again, what's the question? If the, if the reason why they came was to wage war, so the Gemara says, why they go to war? They were trying to prevent Yaakov from getting buried in Marat HaMachpelah. They were looking, they were looking to stop Yaakov from being buried in Marat HaMachpelah. All right, who says this? The Meharsha. The Meharsha says, these 36 kings came to prevent... A ploy. A ploy. Well, why a ploy? A ploy is doing one, it's like a fake out. Why is that no, a ploy? A ploy is like a, pl- a plan. It was a move. It was, they were pulling a move to try to, uh, to stop him from getting there. To slow him down, because it was an ace of going, to the, going there. Right. So, uh, yeah, well, yeah. Well, the, the 36 kings were different. But yeah, yeah, that's a separate thing. Let's see. So the, what's the question? All right, so again, the whole purpose of why they're coming... What's your name? I'm sorry. My ship David. David, shall we? Okay. Half of your friend knows me as Charles. Half of your friend knows me as Charles. Charles is the name, right? Shaul, yeah. <laughs> so look. Shaul Ben Avim. Shaul Ben Avim. Can we move on? We, we got my name down. We're good now. We're, we're, all, we're all on the same page. Should we start on Mordechai? <laughs> He's next week. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Very good. Okay, look, again. So, so they, 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 they all come to wage war. And, this, and when, once they see the, the crown of Yosef on the Aron of Yaakov, the, everybody removes their own crowns and put it on the Aron of, of, of Yaakov. The question is, if their intention was to come for war, right, in order to stop Yaakov from getting buried in Marat HaMachpelah, why would that stop them and turn this whole thing upside down and all of a sudden everybody's singing together Kumbaya? It makes no sense. You're coming to wage war. Now all of a sudden you see the crown of Yosef on uh, on uh, yeah. on Yaakov's Aron, and all of a sudden everybody takes off their crowns and put it on, and they start and they start eulogizing with them. What is that? What does that have anything to do with anything? It makes no sense. Okay, look what it says. The It's like when they went to kill the David and Melech, and everybody that was approaching started to prophesy. Yeah, I don't remember that. When was that? Who's the Navi guy? Say again. Uh, when they were coming. Uh, from Shaul, they were coming to kill David and Melech. Yes. And everybody right, was getting, Shaul They were getting close, right, yeah. and they, they would start to prophesize. Right. They would right. start prophesizing. Yeah. Mm. I remember that. That was how it was back in the day. They were just used to. No, no, they trained. Look, Shemuel. No, but they were Tell Shaul, level. go, and you're gonna find a bunch of guys okay. singing and trying to reach Nebuah. Sure. It's a right. school for Nebuah. You gotta. It's not easy. Name All name right. So because without this, without this Gemara, it's hard on Yosef. Kashiad Yosef. Why? Why did he put his crown on, y- on Yaakov's uh, uh, Aron in the first place? What, Aron is where a person gets, when they carry, they put him, they put him in a box. Okay? So they put him in a wood box. Why? Because you have to know, whatever you have in this world, you're not taking with you. 
The only thing you get to take you to Olam Abba is the Torah mitzvot. Not cars, not watches, not, you not jewelry. Tzadikim, you said the Tzadikim, their whole body goes up. I never said that. The Neshama goes up. Easy. The Neshama goes up easy. You said their whole body goes never. up. Never. No, their body's in Shema. What do you mean? It's in the ground. Chesem Eisem. is different. So look. So without, without this Gemara, it's a question on Yosef, because why would he put his crown on Yaakov in the first place? Why? It, because, because doesn't it say, in Shilton Beyom HaMavit? There's no rule on the day of death. Meaning, there's, you're putting your crown on Yaakov to symbolize what? When a person's dead, there's no kings, there's no sad, there's no nothing. What, what's the, what does this have anything to do? So, Vesarik Lomad, what do you have to say? What's the reason? In order, he, he had to, he wanted to put his crown on the Aron of Yaakov to show that Yaakov Avinu didn't really die. What? Tanit. We have a given on Tanit. Tanit, right? It says, right? What does it say? Right? Yaakov Avinu Lomet. Right? Vehu Sima Muvhak. This is a this, this is a specific sign that he's worthy of being buried in Marat Machpelah, as we will see in a minute. We're not explaining why. All we're saying now is putting the the crown on on uh, Yaakov's uh, uh, Aron is a siman muvhak is this clear sign that he's not dead and he's worthy of being buried in Marat Machpelah. We didn't get to why. I didn't get there yet, but just. This is what he's saying. The question is, why do we need this Gemara? How does this prove what made what made them see Yosef put his crown on 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 Yaakov's uh, uh, Aaron? What made all the what gave all these kings a turn of heart that they all of a sudden took their crowns off? What do you mean, crazy? Take the crown. Ma- Moshe Rabbeinu was on Paro's lap and knocked the thing off because he was just playing with him, and everybody freaked out. They're like, "Oh my God, this guy's gonna take over." <laughs> And then you have 36 kings right now and taking the thing and putting it on the thing. Well, it doesn't make sense. So we have to say this. Why? Because if we don't say this, then it's a question on Yosef. Why would he put it on in the first place? We know there's no rule when the guy's de- when he's dead. So what is he putting on the Aron of Yaakov? It's weird. Right? So we have to say that, that Yosef is trying to hint that Yaakov never died. Like it says in, in Tiny. Because if you look at the words of Yaakov dying, it doesn't say that he actually died. Vayikva. It says Vayikva. Right, they have We go straight to it. Right, it doesn't say they died. Right. So, but we and, and because of that, it's specific that he's that he's worthy of being buried in Marat Machpelah and not the Esav. And not the Esav, huh? No, it's telling him to be patient. Mm. <laughs> when the, when these kings saw this, they understood by themselves. Oh my gosh, she's not dead. He's not dead. Why are we burying him? So hold on, we'll get there. He just told you to be patient. <laughs> Look. They need to, and they, by the way, when they saw this, they also they became afraid. Right? And because they became afraid, because why is he in a box if he's alive, and if he's dead, but he's alive, and he's Yosef. By the way, Yosef, you have to understand who he was. He's the ruler of the modern day world. And he took off his crown, and he put it on his father's uh, Aron. That's no small thing. Okay, and because and we know that there's no that on the day, the day of death the, the crown is being worn on someone else already, the body's not even cold yet, <laughs> right? And then but yet he is putting his on the Aron of his father. Everybody gets afraid because they know you don't do that. So since you don't do that, they all freak out. They put their crowns on 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 the Aron. Okay, let's get there. Okay, yeah, basically Yosef was doing it. Maybe to trick them. But now we gotta know why. Right. We gotta know why. That time who. Now this is big. This is big. The three fathers, Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, you know, Adam and Yishon made a very big sin. Right? He ate from the Etzadat. He was in Gan Eden. He wasn't in this world. He was in Gan Eden. Can't have Gan Eden and be physical. He was in the spiritual world. He sinned, caused all spiritual uh, catastrophe to happen, and here we are today. Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov fixed and was metakin everything that Adam and Rishon did. How? Yaakov was dead. How are you saying it? Abraham and Yaakov. Because yeah, Abraham and Yitzhak Yaakov fixed. When they were alive, they did so many mitzvot, and they had all the right thoughts in their head, that they fixed the averot that Adam and Rishon did. Which were the, which were the sins that Adam and Rishon did? Avodah Zarah, Gilu Yarayot, Shevichud Damim. 
Let's see. The Asara Mamadu brings it down. Look, Abu Dazara, we have to look it up. We have to look it up, but it's known. Gilui Arayotis, because for 120 years he wasn't with his wife, and he had Shikha Zen al For 120 years. No, I said that's Gilui Arayot. Shivichud Damim, oh, uh, I, know, I think I know what Abu Dazara is, I have to think again. Shivichud Damim is because he killed all the Zera that he spilled. And Abu Dazara is something there also. I forgot what it was. Tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> like Asara Mamarot, right? Okay. Again, okay, what? Veshivhan Shela. And by the way, who's the the, the, most, the craziest of the the craziest yeah. of the crazy of the Avot is who? Is Yaakov. Yaakov is the is the is by, by, like it says in the Zohar. It says in a few places, by the way, that that Adam Rishon he held on to the to the Ilana de Mota Leama. He caused the de- the tree of death to come into this world. Because that's how he got death. And what did Yaakov do? He grabbed onto the Etz Hayim. He grabbed onto the Torah. He, he grabbed on different than what the other Avot did. Okay? Come on, grab it. Can we open it? Yeah, you can open it. It's right there. Take this thing. So why? So he showed that Yaakov grabbed on to the Etz Hayim. So that's why the, the Zohar in Vaishlach explains that anybody that has a dream of Yaakov Avinu guaranteed longer life. That what you, what you, whatever you were destined to, 120, all of us. Amen. So it's like the anti-matter, like Yaakov is the antidote yeah. to... Just like Yosef is to Esau, by the way. Mm. We learned that together too. Remind me. Yosef, remember the brothers sell uh, Yosef, they shech the Seyirizim. Ah, remember? Right. Seyirizim is Esau. Right. But the ox is Yosef. Right. Yosef says, I can handle it. The Achim said, we got plenty. Right. That's why the, the side of Mitzrayim is holding up the, 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 the ox's leg. The right leg, right? When they make katreg on the B'nai Sela, it's crazy. Well, okay. Right? It's crazy stuff. Okay, so back to Arinyan. So you see from here so far, what do we, we're learning that the, the Avot, Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, were metakin, the three cardinal sins that Abraham, uh, that, that Adam and Yishon did. Right? Like, uh, Saram, Amarot, I actually have it. If you want to look it up, you can do it later. Okay? And, and we know that Yaakov is the best of, is, is the most praziest. Of, of us. Right. Is, is the, is the chosiest, cho- chooses? Choices. 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 Of all the Which, by the way, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're gonna get to that also. We're gonna get to that also. All his lineage was was shalim because everyone else had issues. Omg, no way. No, no, come sit a minute. I can't. I can't. My wife. Yo, stop with your wife. Do me a favor. Yeah, big talker. big talker. What do you got there? I got a collars for your wife. Oh, that's very nice. Uh, Who made them? No. They're baking for the Chayalim. Yeah. Does yeah. Ellie Stone know? Ellie Stone. Could you text him? He texted me. A guy had a stroke. He recovered. He wants. He's an unbelievable baker. He texted me today. I asked my wife. She didn't get it to me. Ellie Stone, could you text him? I'm not, I'm not kidding. Could you remember this? So what? That he, he has a guy that really wants to bake for the soldiers. Oh, okay. So they need to go make, ahead, go they, they're making shots. So we don't have soldiers here. Oh, why? Why you? So why are you giving us bread? The wife is collecting from. No problem. <laughs> I, we are an equal opportunity lender. We don't ask questions. Okay. So now, okay. Wait two more minutes. Two more minutes and he's done. Fair enough. Now we know. So by the way, now you understand why the avot are buried with Adam and Ishan. They're all buried in Maratha Machbela together. Right. Why? Because they were the ones that were metakin of what Adam did. Yes, yes. Right. Yeah. right. It makes more sense. Who should you and It's not Makes sense that he also should be buried with them in the in the cave and not Esav. Because what did Esav do? He mufterized everything he touched. He made everything bad. Yaakov fixed everything he touched. So yeah, Esav has no right or, or has no ability to lit to, to be buried in Marat Machpelah because he didn't do anything for Adam and Shon. His eyes. Not his head, his eyes. We the Gemara, his eyes. The Gemara says that the Hushi, right? This uh, Hushim. Hushim, Hushim, the son of Dan, okay, take a staff, not a sword like we all thought, okay, and he wet it's in Sotah. And he hit it, but he hit it so hard, it said, it said that his eyes popped out. His eyes rolled in, not his head. We all thought head. Maybe the Midrash says that, but the Gemara says eyes. Oh, I'm just okay. saying what it says. Okay. Okay. So that piece of Gemara on, on, this, on the cave right there. Mm-hmm. 
Is it? There's a tzuyun, yeah. There's a whole text story. That's good. That's good. It says the eyeballs are here. Okay. So now it makes sense. It makes sense that that Yaakov Avinu should be buried and not Esav because Esav didn't do nothing, right? Right, dog. That he had his he, he had his bed was his house was, his house was complete. He had twelve whole children. Abraham had a problem child. There was no Yitzhak bilu. A, was no, bilu. no issue. No issue whatsoever. Shelo haya shum dovi bebanav. Everybody was whole, right? Like right, like the other avot, right? Kemo shad avot. Mishumachi. It says the Gemara Tanit mazaro b'chayim afu b'chayim. What does it mean that he's alive? If his see, if his zed is gener- his lineage is whole, that means he is whole. He's alive. So that's why the Gemara says that he's considered alive. Two two lines. Yaakov, he's not literally alive. He's not. He he the door. <laughs> no, he's not doing that. The language of is different than It is. It is because the Pesukim say when the Pesukim says Vayivah and Vayamot. If you look at Yitzhak and Abraham, it says Vayivah and Vayamot. They say two things. Okay, but the, but by Yaakov it just says Vayivah uh, Right. Right, and then it says So what's the what's the issue here? The issue is that Yaakov is whole. So the fact that he's whole, no, no there's no better Micha, There's no better uh, Hanaa than any parent can have when he sees all of his children that they're all whole. Bloomberg, you agree? Inshallah, our God willing, with the zechut of Hashem, I'm sure they're learning. You should know what it says in the beginning. Okay, where I, I'm repeating it a lot that your eyes should see your children and your children's children, Amen. right, surrounded zetim around your table. Hachamim and Nevoim, but your houses should be filled with only good, only money, Amen. only kavod, and velo yosivu mizarachem, and should not Amen. part from your zera, which means what? They, so it means that when 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 a person that has that is still considered alive even when he's dead. Mm-hmm. Good. Amen. A quick question. Amen. Yes. Quick. Was the crown buried with him? No, hardly doubtful. You no, Wait, you can't. Okay. You can't even bury it with your socks. We know this from Montefiore. Yeah. You know that story of Montefiore? Yeah, and his will. And his will. Yeah. He writes in his will, he wants to be buried with his black socks. My favorite black socks. Rothschild, Guys are controlling it. Rothschild used to go and lie in an open grave to keep himself humble. That's crazy. That the father probably did, not the son. Well, the father did that. There, there so was, yeah, yeah. So a, but so but and then he sends a letter, but a lot of the guys don't know the story. So he he writes in his will that he wants to be buried with his socks. The rabbis Harina Kadisha says absolutely not, no way, no way. Whole fight doesn't happen. Good. A letter arrives like a couple of days later or something like that from the father. He planned all that. He planned this, huh. and he write and he makes a and, he, and they open up. The kids read the letter, and the letter says, "You see." I'm trying to teach you. You don't even get to take your socks with you. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a true story. You don't even get... Yossi Sosa told the three. You can't even take your socks yeah, with you. No. <laughs> there was a guy, a very famous guy, who was a very, very, very wealthy guy. And he wanted to take everything with him. Everything. No. His wife got very upset with this. If he's going to take it, he's going to leave him nothing. So she figured the coffin was open. She wrote a check for everything he was worth. And they put it in there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You know, did that also Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar, before he died, he made he had so much money. He took he made two giant copper so boats, much. put all his money in it, and sunk them to the bottom of the ocean. He doesn't want anybody taking it. Nobody can have it. Retarded. Mm-hmm. People are crazy. Trying to avoid the estate tax. <laughs> well, it is a killer. All right, so we're ending here. Oh, the fishu gemara tikkun. That Yaakov was specifically the one that finished the tikkun. Because what did he do? Abraham did. Avodah Zarah, right? Yitzhak did shifichut damim. He sacrificed himself on the altar. What did Yaakov do? Gilu Yarayot, right? What does it say? We knew Yaakov that the 30, so how did he meet the Gilu? Oh, he married the sisters. And it wasn't really marrying sisters because they each converted. And if they convert, they have no parents. So they ain't sisters. <laughs> it's amazing. They're not even related. It's a crazy, it's unbelievable. You see it? When you, hello, when you convert... You you don't have any more siblings. Right. You disconnect yourself from your family. So even if they're sisters and they convert, it's not like they continue going in the path of sisterhood. They made, ah, they're two they, separate people they made, now. They made a choice at a certain point in time. They ran away with Yaakov to get away from their home. <laughs> they did. They made a choice. They did in the Sadeh. In the Sadeh, we can follow you. And also, what does the Iun Yaakov say? Iun Yaakov is written about, uh, I think in year 17 something. It says the 36 Ketarim that were placed on on the Aron is the name is. For uh, pa'amayim high, 
eighteen eighteen high to tell you what that he's high berlam azeh and he's high berlam abba. Why? Because he's because his children are whole. If his children are whole, therefore he and he he's still alive. He's not dead. So if you're going to try to kill him and take and prevent him from being buried in Matam Akbar, it doesn't work because he deserves to be buried because he's metaken. He did, and he was the. By the way, even more than that, he was the last guy to be metaken. More than Abraham, more than Itzhak. All right, and what, and what did he do? He did, he did the Gilu Ariyot, and therefore you can't you can't cut off his lineage. What do you mean he? He metaken. He's metaken. Our job in life is to be metaken. Our job in life is to fix. So figure out what you got to fix, boys, and you got to fix it. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen. Amen. Look alive. All right. Two minute break. Wait. So just. Yeah. What was the putting the actual talim to show that he's not dead? To show that he's not dead, because okay, with the pasuk no, we said it kohelit. Oh, the pasuk en shilton beyom hamavet. There's nobody alive on the de- day of death. So they acknowledge. They, oh my God! They, the crown represents the crown. So yeah. you, they're coming. They're coming pretty much to the Listen, like like Yaakov's kind of like uh, he's he's transmigrating from the physical domain to the spiritual domain, kind of crossing the ties to Gan Eden. Why are you complicating it? <laughs> he's saying he's alive. That, by the way, the end we said. High is uh, thirty six is right. high twice. High twice to show that he's still alive in Olam Azeh and he's alive in Olam Abba. Right, and so the thirty six kings are coming to almost negate his existence, his ability. That's to... what they wanted to do. Right, but when Yosef, who's the you know the king of the world, now puts his puts the crown, crown on Aaron. Oh my gosh, who does that? That's crazy. Right. Who does that? Sorry, you got to go up, buddy. And why does he do that? Uh, don't forget the bench. You watch. Sorry, you said you, 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 you ate hamotzi. You have a sandwich. You got to say what's time? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to say before I leave, everybody here who can, you should push and make it happen. Go pay the shipper call to the family in the Beit Amil. Well, the, soldier, the, the, the son, the soldier that passed away yesterday. Special family. Absolutely. It's, it's Barur that they're tzaddik. And it's, 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 it it um, almost makes me not want to be a tzaddik because it's like I, 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 every I, time I, it's, 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 it's horrible. It's every time. That's why you say Barut Dayana Emet. What does that mean? What is Barut Dayana Emet? You have to say it. Say, 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 no, no, I gotta say to it. What are you doing? Barut Dayana Emet means that I that that the the one that is is the the judge judged Emet. We don't understand. It makes no sense to us. But we but what? We don't understand. Right. But we understand that he did it. Okay. I don't get it. You must say Barut Dayana Emet. Doesn't mean you have to be happy about it. I'm just saying. Maybe Daniel. That's the thing you can say about a lot of people. You know, or, wow. I want to have in mind again, you know, the Ben Khan the Khan, so the soldiers who are fighting now. Kids. Say again? A lot of people have kids. A lot of people have kids? What does that mean? What does that mean a lot of people have kids? Because he's got kids, you know they're living in And then there's a lot he's considered as alive. Kids were emet. David. Not considered why? No, he had Adunyahu. You set me up. <laughs> yeah, my own son is no. Why did no? Why? 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 Because he's Melech Mashiah. My own son is in by the way. Use you should a, in the most dangerous part of Gaza. You should know so what. Have a mind sh- yeah, Baruch Yitzchak Ben Masha. They all know, on big missions right now. All, a lot of the soldiers, thousands of them. You should know here, Simon. You should know. I skipped the page. Uh, Sashi, you should know the Gemara says, you know, we have two Mashiachs. We have Mashiach ben Yosef. Yeah, that's the first yeah. one. The first one, and he dies. He's destined to die. The Gemara in, yeah, I think, yeah, Sota. Yeah, he said he died. <laughs> no. One second. Ramchal said that that, that Gezerah was nullified. That Ramchal writes. Ramchal yeah. says that, that that was actually nullified. Wait, that ben Yosef died? Yeah. But that's Ramchal. Okay, I don't know. But, well, but. <laughs> you want to mess with that of how? No, I'm saying, I'm saying, you know, the, the, after the Shabbat Tzvi, they were saying, yeah, he got his knife too. They were saying that the, the Mashiach Ben Yosef died in Ukraine, four brothers. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but but, but the Gemara says when he sees that he's he's destined to die, then he then Mashiach Ben David s the please uh, Hashem says, what do you want? He wanted to give him something, and once he saw that that Ben Yosef is gonna die, he said, please let me live. And Mashiach is David. David is Melech Mashiach. So that's why David Melech Havikayam. That's the best answer I can come up with. <laughs> uh, let's do one more. Okay. 
So I fake you guys out and do a long one? <laughs> that would be normal. That would be normal. Up 20 and goes for the Hail Mary. All right, I can go to... Go to... Hail Mary? <laughs> Wrong religion, man. Go to Hay. You never know what gets in Go to Hay, hey, no? What else did? Oh, this is a good one. Sure. Hey, Amen. Oh, this is a good one. Mm. Yeah, hold on. Hey? Yeah, I, I don't know why they do that. What did you say? Yeah, hey. Hey? Yeah. We did dial it. Yeah. Hey. Okay. All right. Let's go, guys. Remember, at the Zerah Shimshon, share it. We've got a new website. Well, updated website, zerahshimshon.com. Yeah, it's going to get a whole lot updated soon. It's going to get better and better. All right, so we ready? Yeah. All right, so hey, the Pasuk says, V'asita imadi chesed ve'emet. Right? Well, this is, we're going back to what we said before, that Yaakov is talking to Yosef and telling him, do something good for me. Do a chesed shel emet. What does Rashi say? What is chesed ve'emet? The chesed she'osim im ha'metim hu chesed shel emet. She'en o metzapeh le'tashum gemul. It's like Zachra. They're the best. Zachra, yeah. God bless them. So, hey, what does chesed ve'emet mean? You with me, boys? Over there, Sash, you with me? That's in the past. What does she say? He explains what does Chesed Vehmet mean? Chesed that you do with the, with people that are dead because is Chesed Shalemet because they can't repay you. So anything you do when you when you when you do uh, when you dig, okay, or you do anything for the for the dead, they can't repay you. So it's, a, it's considered labeled Chesed Shalemet because they cannot repay you. Right. That connects to the Shua of burying him in Israel. Why? Because no. It's a Chesed of him. No, it's not Shavua Chesed Shalemet. It's just Shavua Shavua Chesed Shalemet. Look at the pasuk. It says, "Sinai." Actually, it's true. Ve'asit amidi Chesed Shalemet, but it's not connected. Why not? The whole request that he has is bury me, and after he's dead, he will not be able to repay him. The whole context of this Shavua is in the Mavit. Fine, but it's not a swear of Chesed Shalemet. I mean, I guess it's not the. What's the point? I'm just saying that that's the connection why we call Chesed Imanetim Chesed. Imanetim. Yes, yes. Because it was in the context of bearing him in Israel. That was his request. Yes, but just doing anything for somebody that died is a Chesed Shalemet. Right. But anything. It doesn't have to be if you bury him in Queens. Right. But also Chesed right. Shalemet. I'm saying it's learned from you. So you learn it from him. Yeah. I didn't say anything bad about Queens. I'm just saying Queens. They got it. They got a place. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, look. All right, so the Mefashim have a problem with this. Why? Okay, good night, Sai. Good night, Sai. Good night. Why, why? Look what it says. The Mefashim have a problem with this. Why? Because that she himself writes in the Pasuk before, or Pasuk later, that Yaakov tells Yosef, I'm giving you Shechem, the city of Shechem, I'm giving you one, above, one city above your brothers. Why? Because you work so hard on burying me, I'm giving you something extra. But if I'm giving you something extra, that's not a chesed shel emet anymore. Uh-huh. You understand? Know she's saying, what does chesed shel emet mean in English? Yoni. Yeah. Okay. What does the word? Kindness of truth. Uh, English. I don't know. It doesn't mean anything. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Altruism. Yeah. You guys are going south more. You're getting colder. I don't know what that means. It means, it means that you're doing something good with no expect to, re- no, no to return. You're doing something yeah. good with not ex- expecting nothing yeah. in return. Yeah. yeah it's the same. Okay? Because you... No, not expecting. No, right. So, and not yeah. expecting because you're not getting. Right. right. Because you also have confirmation you're not going to get it. That's a chesed shelemet. But why does Rashi comment that Yaakov is giving Yosef Shechem, which is where Yosef is buried, why does he say that I'm giving to you because you worked so hard to get me out of Mitzayim? You're going to get me out of Mitzayim? You're going you're gonna to bury Excuse me, you're going to bury me? I'm going to put you, I'll, I'll, I'm giving you Shechem, an extra city. A reward. A reward. That's the exact opposite of Chesed Shelemet. I'm doing something for nothing, but I'm going to give it to you. But I, I thought you were supposed to be doing it for nothing. Okay. Uh, get it or no? Mitzayim. The fact that Yaakov did it from his own accord doesn't mean that Yosef expected it. 
Where do you see the word metzapeh? It says. Where? At the first piska. No metzapeh at the shlom he ain't waiting for it. Oh, he's not. He's not. He's not anticipating it. The fact that Mesape means anticipate. Yes, I'm, I don't. I don't know if that's the. Inyan. Well, that, but it's the same thing. It's the same same message, of I'm not expecting anything in return. Right. So the fact that Yaakov, from his own volition, decided to give it to him doesn't mean that. No, but why does Rashi say I'm giving it to you because of this? It's a question on Rashi. Yes. Okay. That's it's a question on Rashi. Yes. Yes. Again, the, the pasuk says, "Asida imadi chesed emet." What does Rashi say? Chesed emet. The words of the pasuk mean a, a chesed. Is what's a chesed? No, it's kindness. A kindness. An act of kindness. And this act of kindness that you're doing for me I'm, is this what is is whenever you do it for someone that that passed away is called chesed shelemet because it's chesed shelemet because I'm not going to repay you. I can't say thank you for burying me and then go back under. <laughs> That's, it doesn't work that way. But then why does Rashi say later, I'm giving you one extra city because you buried me? Or because you're going to bury me? It doesn't work. It's a question on Rashi. Okay? The im can, and odd, it's not it's not labeled a Hesed Shelemet anymore. You're la- Rashi is labeling what your, your, your Sev is doing as a Hesed Shelemet. All right? It's an it's a, it's a unaltered, untouched nothing, right? It's all yours. It's all, it's all, it's all uh, for the, it's all for good. I don't want nothing out of it, but you're getting shechem out of it. So why would Ashi write that? Because now you, it's, it's why, why would Ashi write that? Okay. Now v'nirei lomad she Yaakov lo siva the Yosef ela she lo yikbereu be Mitzrayim. What did you, what did he ask Yosef to do? He asked him, just don't bury me in Mitzrayim. You could have buried me in Queens. <laughs> <laughs> just don't bury me in Egypt. That's what he asked. Don't bury me in Egypt. That's what he asked him no, to do. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Ela, ela, she Yosef atzmo mitasek b'kvurato. So what did Yosef want to do? Yosef, on his own accord, he wanted to be asuk in the mitzvah on himself and to and to add on to the thing and to send him to Canaan. We're gonna get to you. We'll get to that. Okay. What he's what what Yosef did? What was the chesed shelemet that he did? He made sure not to bury him in Mitzrayim exactly like he asked, and that's the pasuk. The fact that he took him to Israel is the extra. Is the extra? Is the extra? Now that you're gonna take a shechavti imavutai, you're gonna put me with my fathers. I'll give you shechem. So I thought shechem was like a shoulder shechem, but anyway. No city. And when Yaakov sees at the end of days what's going to happen, right? What happens? It says, He saw that Yosef was going to make sure that he got buried to where he had to go. So Yosef, by the way, Yaakov saw a lot of, Yaakov saw a lot of Nevuot. Right. We know that he tried to tell the Avot at the end of day, so by Amim. And the Ruach HaKodesh went away from him. Yeah. And the Midrash says, by the way, why does it, why, and the Midrash says, why, when, when that happened, Yaakov thought, huh? oh, it scared me. You can't come in with a gun and say, whisper something like this. It's not, it's, I'm sorry. Roshan's over there. Top right. Top right. No, no. The way the Gemarot are top, yeah, that section. Really? <laughs> you know, Friday night, two guys came in. They didn't come in. I, I, I spoke at the base last night. So, I, so they were telling, so well, the guy goes, I don't know how much I can say or I can't say, but he, like, I, I think I walked in on it. I sat in on a meeting I wasn't supposed to be at. But I'm like, someone goes. No, good. it should be there. It should be there. The first, that, that's it. There's no there's Pesachim, there's no Rosh There's been Chavs. Someone's learning them. I'll get a few. I have it somewhere. Okay. So again, so what, what, back to Yaakov. So Yaakov had all these visions at the end of days, and he wanted to tell, and he didn't say, but so why, what happened? Yaakov was afraid that somebody was, was, uh, was maybe there's a, there's, there's a pegam in somebody. Maybe someone's not 100%. Yaakov's brand is very important. He's the only one with 12 whole children. Very important. The fact now that he feels that maybe I don't, but you know that I don't, he gets nervous. What does everybody answer? Everybody says, "No, that's not true." Shema Israel. 
Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. We all testify. We all testify. Shema Yisrael, you Yisrael. God is one and he's, all, he's our God is only one. And what does ya- Yaakov answer? Baruch Shem Kivod Mechotor Le'olam Ba'ed. Unbelievable. On his deathbed. Even on his deathbed he's worried that his children are on hold. Even on, and, then, and, then when he, and then when they give him confirmation he thanks God for it. It's heavy stuff. But he's done that before as well when he didn't trust what his merits were and he was afraid to go against Esau also. It's not the first time it's happened. It's not that he was afraid of his merits. The Zohar says that he didn't want to use up his merits. He wanted his merits to be for his children. He wanted Davka, the merits to be for... I read it today. Today, I learned it. <laughs> Save you from Yaakov's kashi. <laughs> no, no, it's it's amazing because I found it. I didn't look for. I found it. He pray. He, he prayed. The question was, if he is the Elan of Hayim, like we learned before, if he's the one that grabbed onto the to the 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 tree of life, the Torah and everything's so amazing. Then what's he afraid of? Yeah, he could blow him away. So the answer is that he didn't want to use up any of his zechuyot to take on Esav. He wanted his zechuyot to be left for his children. And he wanted his children. So that's why he was on his own. Good. So now Yaakov sees that what's going to happen at the end. And what does he say? Az, that's when he tells him that I'm going to give Shechem for you. That's when it says, I'm going to give Shechem. I'm going to give one over the others. That you're being Torah, you're, being, you're, you're working hard. You're, 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 yeah, what does Lehitasek, what does Lehitasek mean? Uh, to, to, to work, to, to be to occupied, toil, to, toil, to toil, toil, to toil, to have all good words, we all good, all good options, <laughs> <laughs> okay? Bikvurati <laughs> with my kibura, <laughs> in order, in order, lehagdil <laughs> kevodi, boys, in order to make my, to, to make my kavod greater, so you're doing that, I'm going to give you Shechem to, to make your kavod greater. Why? Look what it says. Like it says in the Midrash. And the Gemara in Sota says, so, so it makes sense to give him Shechem. Why Davka Shechem? Because that's where he was stolen from. They took him. They stole, what do you mean? They want to throw him. Where did Yosef go see the brothers? Shechem. Right. Where did Daitoina, right? Dotaina. I couldn't find him. Elian Avi or Michael, Gabriel, whoever it was, tells him that way. Goes to Shechem. The brothers see him. Here comes the dreamer. Ted's take him, and that's where it happened in Shechem. Mm. So, because it happened in Shechem, it makes sense that it should be saved, that it should be given to him as a Nahala. Mm. Make him whole. To make him whole. Right? And because you were stolen from Shechem, it was the whole of Shechem. Technical difficulties. And it has to be yours, and it's it's, it's kedai lot that it should be his for sure. Kedesh ye kavu b'nehato in order for that he should be buried in his own nahala. And now shalei shiv etchem mashra kol banav yachzeru leeretz Israel. Right now, what does that mean? Ve shiv etchem she kol banav yachzeru leeretz Israel kesh yivkod she yivkod et Israel. What's he talking about over here? He's talking about what we'll see now. Oh. That's it. Oh. He made Moshe promise to him the wow. same thing that Yahweh. Wow, I want to read the Pasuk. Where's the Pasuk? At the end, no? Yeah. Well, what's the Pasuk? Say it out loud. Do you remember? Oh, you know Pasuk? It's in Pasuk. It's in Shvi. Shvi. Hold on. Oh, you guys are champs. You guys are champs. Ah, which we know was the secret code that Serach, the daughter of Yisachar, was the old lady at the time. She's the only one that knew. Serach Bat Hashem is the only one that knew it because she was the only one left. Or Joseph Chai, or the Binu Chai. Right? Right? Hold on. Where do you see? Where do you see? What do you see that? Continue. It's not there. And take my time. It's not there. 
What is what is the uh, Yaakov? What does it say over there? You have it? No, Yaakov is the one who says that. No, I'm sorry, this Yaakov. No, but where is the... I wonder where is the Pasuk of Eshiv Etchem. Where is this from? Eshiv Etchem. Where is this Pasuk of Eshiv Etchem? Is that a pasuk? Yeah, the way he says. Quotes it. Sh- right, Ve'eshiv etchem. That must be Yaakov. Kalei Look at the odd scroll. It's got to say. It's got to no, say. It might say. It doesn't have a quote. That's why. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, where is it? No, no. Go back to. Uh, what are we You're on number five. Hey. Hey. The end of five. So he says because he said that that's exactly what happened. That the she'av atzmo shivat. Oh, find the pasuk. Not only Yosef's bones went up. Everybody's, Everybody's bones went up. Ah, Don, right. we know, is buried in the north. Don is buried right here. Don is buried right here. Buried right here. Don? Don? Don buried right here. Someone told me he's in the north. No, no. Yeah. Right by Beit Shemesh. Yeah. Yeah, near Beit Shemesh. In between Beit Shemesh and... Uh, they say there's a... Maybe not. Right. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's a real bus kill north. when they say that. It's a bus kill. <laughs> it's right. <laughs> it's right after Ikea. It's right after Ikea. To turn off... That's what the summer It's not only Yosef's bones. It's everybody's bones. But where are the words? Ve'eshiv etchem. Yeah, I know. Where is this word from? Where is it? Pasu? Where is it from? It's from. <coughs> no, but, uh, yeah, she would have. Look upstairs, it'll be find it. Well, it doesn't say. Anyway, be she with him, Mashma Shako Banab, all, oh, or the Yaakov is saying that all the, all the brothers are going to be taken up with Yosef, not just Yosef, right? And Moshe them, and Moshe bring, did bring them from its time, like it says, Be Kak Moshe, that's what Yosef, Imo. And why did Yosef be zocher that Moshe himself did it? Because every all the all the shevatim took their own took their own took their great great grandfather. Ah, I found it. Finally. Memchet kaf alef. That's the beginning. That's not the shevi. That's not shevi. No, it's not shevi. Shevetchem el er tzavotechem. That's the full pasuk. One more time. Vayam Yisrael. Right. Yosef. Ina nochi met. Vaya Elohim imachem. Ah, because he sees that he spent so much time working on the kibbutz to make sure. So ya- ya- pa- Yaakov is saying an extra thing. He say not only am I going to give you shechem, uh-huh. also you're also not going to be buried in Mitzrayim. Uh-huh. You're also going to come back up. Yes, etchem, all of you guys, everybody there. But not only that, why was why was Yosef zochet to get Moshe Davka to take him out? Because he's because the he one, very good, because he was Midah Kerit Midah. He was Osek with, with the Atzmot of his father. Yeah. Yeah. With his father. Okay, yeah, could you shut the door? I'm sorry, I'm, it's cold now, sorry. Yeah, now so by the way, I want to tell you something, quick, okay? Yaakov, you see from this Derasha, and you see from the first Derasha that we did, mm-hmm. is all about Yaakov always having to strategize, mm-hmm. like we said before, Okay? I told the, the, the base, the army base, in my broken Hebrew, but I told them, I said, what, what is your strategy? Us as a nation, Am Yisrael, what is our strategy? I told them, our strategy in this war is Achdut. I told them, you have to love somebody that, that, that thinks they're better than you. Mm-hmm. That thinks they're better than you. Not to like, us like each other is easy. Couscous. <laughs> right or wrong? Easy. But now imagine I have different views than you. Imagine I have different views than you. And we don't see eye to eye. You have, we have an obligation to still care about each other and love each other. Oh. That's what the Torah says. I can't talk about you to my wife tonight. No, no you don't have to do that. But, but, you, but you have to love me. You got to talk to me. Can't ignore me. You know, by the way, you have to realize our job, we talked about this before, you have, your, you, have, um, you have David and Ahav, two different kings. One was good, one was bad. One that went to, one went to, one went to war and, had, had, and came back whole, and another one went to war and came back with, 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 uh, with uh, casualties. Who do you think came back whole? The good a, king? It was Achav. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, Achav. Right. It was the worst of the worst, Achav. Right. Yet at the same time, he came back whole. But David Amir, David's face is one of the four parts of Rufim HaKitzah HaKabod. How are you going to tell me that he doesn't come back whole? What are you, crazy? What's, what's this box there about scrolls? Do we that's, tell that's, everyone? That's, no, that's... Uh, it's a private order? 
No, it's for Shemot. Shemot. Okay, good. Guys, next week we have Shemot. Yeah, we got. We have Shemot. So what's in there? That many Shemot? No, all of Shemot. The whole oh, seven Shemot. I got five of each. Amazing. So it's Rabbi right. Zilberberg gave it to me. He gets it. So I'm buying another book case and we're going we're gonna to put it. So, because I want the art scrolls are good. And also, we brought in a thousand books, a thousand sets wow. of Hebrew Menukad. Anybody wants to buy, I'm going to put them over there. I'm going to put a box. You guys pay the box because I don't want the money. Because I'm going to lose the money. It's going to go to the Kalil. Same as that. But we ran out of sets. We sold all the sets. You got one. Did he pay for it? Is the question. No. <laughs> Some people did it because I said, "Don't worry about it. Just take it." Because I was just excited to give to people. All right, well, you could have got it for free. <laughs> David, the art da- the not the art school. The art school is a commodity. All right, I'll get so, something else. So this is right. You'll be, right. Uh, David Amelach's generation had people talking about Shonara, had people talking about each other. Achav and nobody. They all had Achdut. You know the two, the, the brother and sister that got out. One of the captives, right? Their brother and sister. Right? You know what their names are? Itai and Maya Regev. Okay? Now Maya, when she went into Gaza, they took her, when they kidnapped her, she made a neder. She made a neder. What's the, this came out by Sivan Rahad Meir. A week ago. A week ago. A week ago. Okay? Why do we know this? Because she spoke to her mother, Mirit. Who I'm going to tell you in a second what she did. Maya made a neder that I'm going to keep every time, every Shabbat, I'm, I'm keeping Shabbat for every week that I'm in Gaza. She was in Gaza for seven weeks. She kept Shabbat for seven weeks in Gaza. Wow. Okay? And last week was her third week keeping Shabbat. But Mirit, the mother, is telling Sivan the story, but it gets crazier because Mirit made the same neder. Wow. Wow. When they got capped, when they got taken... They made the same, she made the same, the mother made the same neder. It says, well, our family is going to start keeping Shabbat. And that, because why, why did they say this? Because there was a function uh, in Herzliya on Friday night. And, and they said that they were going to send her a car. And it says, we, I, she can't take a car because she doesn't drive on Shabbat anymore. Wow. Because she's keeping Shabbat. Mm-hmm. Wow. We are different than the Goyim. Everyone in this room, everybody listening, everybody, every Jew, everyone that's not an Arel, everyone that has a B'rit Milan needs to know we're different. We're not the Goyim. But Goyim go to college, they have a dog, they have two children, they have the picket fence, that's their life. Okay? We are not that people. <laughs> you don't have a dog? I don't do dogs. I have children. I don't need dogs. Yes, I got children. Today I went to a hospital. This woman I walked out of the elevator, this woman had six identical dogs. No, come on. Six identical dogs. I said, are they for sale? She goes, do you sell your children? I was like, he said, these are dogs. She's like, do you sell your children? I was like, wow. Okay. So listen, listen. I, I want to end with this because this is a point. The, the final words, some of you guys might have heard it already. Sasha, tell me if you remember. The final words of the Pittsburgh Rebbe. Remember? My Rebbe, who I was very close with 15 years. And who, who, yeah, who, got, who told this to me was the nurse, the male nurse that waited on him on his final days. He was the one looking at the chart. That this, he saw that the chart numbers didn't look good. He calls me. This is at 10 o'clock at night. I have a bottle of attic in my hand. I'm about to go out to hang out with a bunch of teenagers. I promise, okay, in one of the tree houses in the thing, okay, because I was, you know, hanging out with the kiddo work, Arak, it just works, <laughs> and, and, and I'm walking out, and I get this call, okay, I answer, I always have to work at night, so it's like I'm juggling, and he goes, hi, my name is, uh, I forgot his first name, Schneider, what was his last name, hi, I got your number, you ready from who? Rabbi Shlomo Katz, wow. what? Yes, Rabbi Shlomo Katz. I heard you were close with the Pittsburgh Rebbe, and I'd like to tell you his final words. <sighs> Ten o'clock now, I'm like, I, I'm bawling. Bawling. What was his final words? He tells, first of all, he had to get it out of him, because what does he say? He tells him, Rebbe, tell me, tell me some deep Torah. <laughs> You're like, what he's got? <laughs> so the Rebbe says, I can't, I'm very tired. So he tells him again, Rebbe, come on, you got to know something. You got to tell me something. Rebbe, tell me some deep Torah. So the Rebbe closes his eyes, he takes a deep breath. They go, okay, I have. I'll tell you. He names the, he says, he names it in I don't, a very, a Rebbe with a very long name, his father. I didn't know the name. I, couldn't, I wrote it down. 
and then I asked Schneider to send it to me in a voice note, but then I got a new phone and I don't have it anymore. <laughs> but he said, but he says the pasuk says Shiru la Hashem Shir Hadash Teilato Pikal Hasidim Hasidim Hasidim. We say it every day. Should brush up. <laughs> say it every day. He says that the throughout the generations we've always rid uh, rode on the coattails of the Gedulim. Baba Sali saved thousands of people from dying, but he died. It was it's a separate story for a separate time. But he sacrificed himself. It was a Tuesday. He died on a Shabbat. Tuesday, he said, he got the, 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 the Kriya Nold. He was so happy. He made a Sevda That Shabbat, he died. Okay? We always survive off the Gedulim. We, had, we have ten songs that the Jewish people have, have uh, written. Nine of them have been written and said. As a Shir Moshe, there was one by Devorah, right? By Tome Devorah, there's all, all, different, all different songs, okay? The tenth one is not going to be done because of the Sadiqim Zechuyot. The tenth one is going to be done by common people like me and you. And he's, I'm telling me, I didn't say the Rebbe, I'm, I'm just pointing out regular people. Shiru la Hashem, sing to God, Shir Hadash, a new song. Tehilatoh, his tehila, his praises will be said, Bikal Hasidim. What is Bikal Hasidim? A kehila. When everybody comes together and says, Do you need help? Do you need something? Can I help you? I don't know you, but I want to know you. Do you need help? Do you need money? What can I do for you? Just one chesed. Just one chesed. It's literally like, it's just like that. Those were his final words, and then he died. Then the Rebbe died. We have to understand that we are different people. We are not the goyim. We don't act like we, we're not, we're absorbed in the culture. You want to be part of, I'm very much part of society, but I try very hard to remove myself from culture altogether. And I'm functioning, I ain't a weirdo, I'm around everywhere, everybody knows me, thank God, it's such a, right? Don't tell me it's not possible. Because it is. Okay? It is. Why is it? Because it's, it, 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 you have to attach yourself to God, and only God. Yesterday, I had a very big problem in business, okay? Trying to get two new hotels. Two new hotels. Two new accounts. But I find out that, and they're on board, ready to sign, and they, it sounds great. What happens? They're all under the same management company with three other ho- properties that I also do. The, G, the head G, whatever, she decides to call the other three properties to see how things are going. Mm-hmm. Which, I don't have to tell you, no one, don't ask anybody about how their laundry <laughs> services. Because it's just, it, the answer's never good. Because it's always, there's always a problem with something. There's always to be proven. There's always something. There's always to be proven. So she gets bad reports from all three. Right. Now, it, it messes up the two new ones that I'm trying to get. And now I got three more problems I have to deal with. You, you yeah, follow? It's not, yeah, it was real problems. serious. Yeah, and I have five problems. problems. And all this happening 30 minutes before I'm going to the base. <laughs> okay? So then, okay, I hang up the phone. And, and, and you, my, mo- my emotions were like, I was like a ping pong. Why, why ping pong? We learn in Shad B'Tahon that everything happens from Hashem. And everything that happens is emet and it's from, so it's, you, people, for you, it's yeah. good for you. Don't blame the people that are part of it. It's, yeah. yeah, it's on you. It's what God's doing to you. But at the same time, I have five giant problems now that I have to deal with. But I couldn't get myself to be upset, but I couldn't get myself to be okay. So I was in this limbo area, and it was just. And I texted my wife. I said, I told her something like, "Shad bitahon." I can't get after learning "Shad bitahon." I can't get upset. I didn't tell her what it was. I never tell her what it was. I just wrote that sentence. She didn't understand what I was saying. I had to just say something. That was my ex. That was my exit. That was my exhaust. Yeah. That's me getting it out. I couldn't deal with it. And I just okay. I'm dealing with it. I'm going to deal with it. God, I'm going to deal with it. But but. But but understand, we go by God, we go by Hashem. Today? What? Today? I'm trying to. I don't know yet. <laughs> okay. Bezat Hashem. I mean, Bezat Hashem. But you know, but you know. By the way, you, it says Hashem's Hashem Yimloch Le'Olam Ba'ed. Same Gematria. We're gonna say Kaddish now. Same Gematria. Shalom. We have to have peace. And if we have peace, Adonai Yimloch Le'Olam Ba'ed, you'll be able to reign forever and ever. Baruch Adonai Le'olam, Amen, Amen, Rabbi Hanabakashah, Amen.